uh, each time now because of the higher technology and uh, we tend to see recurrence so it is not like uh, before that uh, that was a fresh case of cancer and uh, we have uh, the treatment modality the protocol that we follow but now it, uh, in the present uh, situation it is like they come with recurrent cancer again they come with uh, the cancer in the same place or in another place so it becomes uh, too challenging that uh, what kind of treatment would uh, be uh, helpful then for them um, so in that scenario we have mdt like uh, multidisciplinary tumor board meetings where right. all uh, three doctors like surgical doctors radiation doctors and chemotherapy doctors sit together and discuss about uh, these patients and come to a conclusion so otherwise uh, uh, there are uh, few cancers uh, like um, uh, i had a patient uh, young patient uh, around 11 10 years 10 years of old who had zero stomia pigmentosa so it is a very rare condition especially in india these are seen in western countries uh, in white people white skin people so this is very rare even there it is little rare it is very rare in india and uh, this zero derma pigmentosa with uh, high uh, i mean uh, uh, skin exposure i sorry sunlight exposure there is a tendency to for it to turn to malignancy cancer skin cancer squamous cell carcinoma basal cell carcinoma carcinoma mainly so uh, she had developed the skin cancer in those pigments in her uh, face uh, so one was on the left side of her uh, cheek which started growing bigger and bigger and she had uh, the removal of the eye itself so she was with only one eye and uh, so there was a repeated uh, occurrence of skin cancer in other part of the faces also so at that point my dermatology colleague had uh, referred to me and uh, she had multiple uh, uh, cancers in the skin in the face face and head so uh, i did treat her with the radiation again i told you in the beginning skin cancer is very well treated in radiation so i did treat uh, her with radiation if it was uh, 10 years or 15 years ago she wouldn't have been touched uh, so either removal of that and uh, they would have left they wouldn't have gone for radiation but because we have higher technology i had taken her up uh, with uh, all imrt electrons and also tomotherapy machine which we have uh, now so with this that uh, tumor had almost disappeared and um, moreover to tell uh, in the initial phases we used to only open one beam and only target at one part of the uh, i mean one place but uh, as i told this was uh, different places one two on the scalp one uh, next to the lateral cancers another one uh, two on the forehead and one on the cheek uh, many places one was uh, mainly on the uh, nasal part nose which was extending uh, deep inside to the maxilla the bone which is next to the, i mean uh, cheek right. so these many were treated at Uh, at the same instance avoiding the eye and many more normal structures in the face so right. we could we could treat her well with the, the higher technology and her uh, the skin lesions also had disappeared but unfortunately after 2 uh, 3 months she had come with um, lip cancer because of biting or repeated the irritation with the teeth so she had lip cancer so that i had treated with brachytherapy so that also had disappeared and uh, later on she developed a node in the swelling in the neck so that was like open wound usually open wound and none of the surgeon touch and uh, that also i just treated with a palliative dose and it uh, almost went inside it it almost went away to tell so it got closed the skin got closed and it went away uh so that was a little uh, challenging case that uh, i had to do repeated radiation yeah ma'am and uh, yeah by god's grace uh, she was doing well now she is uh, lost for follow up but i had a good result in her 
similarly we have uh, like these re radiation when i speak they do well uh, lung uh, i mean uh, a patient had a base of tongue cancer something like throat cancer and he got treated with all these three modality of treatment so this was uh, five years or 10 years back and again now he developed uh, uh, again two years back he developed again cancer in the throat and it was removed and again he developed cancer in the tracheostomy they do a hole for him to breathe so that uh, the surgeon couldn't touch it so we gave radiation and uh, it almost disappeared and he is doing good <laughs>